What's up guys, Quick Bricks here, and we're late on this one, but it's official. The Naboo N1 Starfighter from the Mandalorian, fully modified with all of his mods, Lego set. It's coming this year, June 1st, wow, well, June 2022, and uh, yeah, retailing at $59.99 in the US. We're going to have to quit our job because we're well late on this news. Um, but as you can see, it comes with four figures, two major minifigures, a baby Yoda, and the droid. So first up, we've got Palimoto, who's the mechanic, who's been helping Mando. Obviously, they built the ship together. And a uh, BD droid. So the BD droid is um, quite cool because they've come up with a new mold. So it's a single piece now. Just on Palimoto, I quite like the hair mold they've used for her. I think she looks really good. Um, she looks a little, the, the uniform looks a bit dark, the overalls, from memory from the show anyway. I think she should be closer to Baby Yoda's brown potato sack that he wears. Of course we've got Mando, also known as Din Djarin, uh, carrying the Darksaber, which is hopeless. It's, uh, just make a mould, make a mould for the hilt that's rectangular, closer to the actual design, not this round saber. I don't like it. It's clearly not round in the show. It's, it just it bothers me. Lego, you're a billion dollar company. Make it happen. Disney, come on. Let's go. And of course, Baby Yoda, which is great. I don't actually have a Baby Yoda yet somehow. But we're getting there. We'll get it for sure once we get this set, at least. Um, just on the ship, it's got the uh, modifications with uh, that were in the show. It's uh, got the stripped down engines, which is a cool feature. A um, couple, couple little bits of yellow on there to show its origins, a bit of a homage to it start out as a Naboo Starfighter. I quite like the tail piece where it's got the missing sections just showing how they've lightened it up. Just to give you an idea of scale, it's pretty close in piece count to the old Naboo Starfighter from uh, Lego at 75092 which was 442 pieces whereas this is 411 pieces. Although that did include uh, a few more droids in that set, so you know, it'll be relatively close on scale. Uh, a few people are disappointed that it doesn't come with any of the workshop, but um, I for one, I, I don't really mind that at all. I'd rather just have the ship with the minifigures as opposed to the workshop and the surrounding features of it. Unless they were going massive, huge, diorama-style display piece workshop, then I'd be more interested. It could have maybe come with a jar or something, another little nod to the show, just to make it a bit more of a value proposition. Overall, though, I think it looks fantastic. It looks really cool. Looks like it's got two shooters at the front that can uh, eject projectiles, and now I'm really happy with what uh, Lego have brought to the table with this one. I think it looks great. Great. I mean, some of those MOCs we've got on Instagram and the like have been really cool, but... Uh, Lego always manages to do it one better. What are your thoughts on the Naboo N1 Mandalorian Starfighter launching later this summer? Leave a like, chuck it in the comments what you think, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.